Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And it's been one week since I last updated you with these cucumbers and tomatoes in front of us. Let's come in close and see what we got going on. And if you want to see how these plants looked last week, I'll post the link down in the description bar below so you could take a look, check that out, and really see how fast these plants are growing. Look at this beautiful tomato plant that you have right here in front of you. These plants over here, from this and up, these five here. This is the tomato Wagner blue green tomato. And look at how beautiful and gorgeous this tomato is gonna look. I can't wait till this thing starts producing flowers. Let's actually come in close and see what we got going on. If there's any flower development yet. And no, nothing yet. But I know based from growing tomatoes, in my experience, this thing should be probably putting on some flowers really soon, probably at the next set of new growth so pretty shortly we should have something coming and over on this side this is this beautiful black and red tomato and these are both cherry tomatoes so they're gonna get probably about maybe two to three feet tall maybe something like that which is perfect for aligning aligning right with this plant and that's gonna be basically taking up half of this grow space and all the way along back we have our cucumbers uh, four beautiful dragon egg cucumbers planted from seed and everything is being grown using cocoa core as I always use I find that that grow media works very well and it's closest to resembling soil for me so for me that's really good I like I really enjoy coming in and feeling the dirt with my hand not only just putting things in and this was started from seed on the 27th of July. And today is already August 23rd, I believe. So it's been growing for quite some time. And like I mentioned in my last video, this one over here, look at that. It really surpasses the rest of this growth for some reason. So that's the strongest seed that I have currently. So I'm going to be taking seeds from this plant over here. And for these guys, I'm going to wait a little bit longer because right now they all seem to be around the same stage. This one over here is, looks like it's probably the tallest one. But this one here has probably the strongest base. So it's probably the most supported and stable. So I'm going to take a look and wait a little bit and see what's going on. And I noticed from looking, inspecting these plants up close, look at that. If you're coming in and you're seeing nice, bright, beautiful green leaves like this all over your plants, you're doing the right thing, Something, everything is going well, but if you begin to notice random spots or blotches or you notice your plant for some reason is just not doing well or as well as you want it to, take a close look at the leaves. You want to wear gloves when you're doing this, so I'm going to be washing my hands very thoroughly after this. And you want to inspect underneath the leaves. So if we look over here, I noticed there's basically random aphids here and there. So what I did was I sprayed some neem oil. This is the neem oil that I was using. I'll try to put the link in the description bar below. But as you see, it's all natural. This is very cheap and it's a nice concentrated amount. So you need like a very small amount mixed in with like a gallon of water and that should last you a very long time and I basically sprayed these plants down once every two weeks now I sprayed it about two days when I noticed this happening and these random markings and spots and when I inspected closer I definitely seen aphids crawling around let's see if we can find any for you so nothing at the moment but so hopefully that spray did the job. It's not going to immediately kill the aphids. What it does is basically stops the adults from being able to reproduce new new offspring. So eventually those should die off, but you'll still have the eggs that hatch. So that's why you need multiple rounds of spraying. Probably I usually find two to three sprays normally does the trick. And so the tomatoes are doing excellent. Let's maybe even take a look closely at what one of the root systems looks like. And this is being grown in uh, a quart size mason jar right now because the root system is not that big right now. What I'm going to do is soon I'm going to come in and transplant these to a half gallon mason jar. 
instead of the quart size that should last a little bit longer and I might even add the uses the use of a air pump let's see if I could divide one pump into 10 cans try to do that and for the cucumbers these dragon egg cucumbers like I mentioned they were also planted around the same time sometime at like July 27 July 25th something like that so it's been growing for about a month and I noticed over here on this one plant the flower is actually beginning to bloom to blossom look at that let me bring you a nice and close look at how beautiful this flower is and you begin to see all these clusters when you actually lift the leaves up look at that flowers everywhere so they're all developing but this one's doing the best right now and I hope to really have a ton of cucumbers off of this plant now with this plant I noticed from my past experiences of growing it the rate of pollination from when the when the flowers open to when they close is very short so you want to come in every day and inspect this plant up close you want to lift each leaf up and look in between and underneath everything make sure you're catching the flowers when they open so you want to be able to take the male flower and bring it over to the female when that opens and that'll pollinate itself and I noticed the tendrils actually began to grow over here you could see it starting to wrap wrap around and right there it finally grabbed on by itself so soon this thing will start climbing up and hopefully it's gonna be a pretty self-grown system hopefully I'm not gonna have to do anything besides maybe add in some nutrients and so hopefully I have a ton of cucumbers and tomato flowers forming soon see you guys back in a week if you like the episode hit the thumbs up and if you have any questions leave those down below I'll do my best to respond thanks for watching